these prehistoric rafts were made from nothing more than delicate freshwater reeds, natural fiber rope, wood for masts and steering oars, and cotton for sails. Uh, we're supposed to leave tomorrow at 6 or 7 a.m., but we have to get this money. We have to go to El Alto, we have to buy masks, pick up some rope that was shipped, and organize all our stuff in our room and in the office of a friend. ¿Qué vamos? from La Paz uh, to here, Playa Chinchorro, in the north of Chile, uh, in February last year, uh, 2017. And since then, all of us tripulantes and various uh, circulation of friends and helpers have been bu building everything else that you see here, have seen here in front of you. We want to show the possibility that South American civilizations possess the maritime and navigational skills to successfully maneuver a reed raft over thousands of miles of open ocean. years 2000 and 2003 we sailed two separate reef boats called Veracocha 1 and 2 from the coast of Chile to Easter Island, the most isolated populated island in the world. I was inspired to do these reed boat expeditions because I read a book by Norwegian anthropologist Thor Heyerdahl called The Kantiki and ever since that time when I was 11 years old I've been dreaming about doing these types of expeditions. Phil Burke managed to uh, sail a reed ship uh, to Easter Island is uh, an accomplishment. It is uh, important uh, scientifically. He has shown that it is uh, possible. <laughs> Plastics and the manufacture of, of them and the usage of them and the disposal of them is a gigantic problem that we need to come together and put an end to. And with this expedition, we're trying to emphasize that point that we need to come up with new materials, uh, new ways of disposing plastics, and it should never end up in the ocean. Me motiva lo que podríamos llegar a encontrar eh, y el mensaje que podemos transmitir a través de la investigación, el mensaje que le podemos llegar a las futuras generaciones y, y a las actuales generaciones respecto a los impactos negativos que estamos dejando nosotros en el medio ambiente marino. Nuestro proyecto educacional eh, pretende inspirar a las nuevas generaciones a poder seguir sus sueños, que es, eh, comprendan eh, la importancia que tiene el medio ambiente y sobre todo a poder respetar lo pasado, sobre todo en lo que nos trataron de enseñar las culturas ancestrales de Sudamérica y de cómo puedes vivir más conectados con, con la naturaleza.